Hey guys, and welcome back to FMP Toots. Uh, today's tutorial is a special one because I told myself once I hit 50 subscribers on the channel, I would release a video that I know would be very impactful to a lot of people. Uh, today's tutorial is going to be on how to attach walls to a curved ramp. Uh, essentially, what we're creating is what you see below or on your screen. Uh, when it's a straight ramp, it's a lot easier. You just edit the profile of the uh, of the wall and I have a tutorial for that I'll put it in the description below um, but once once you start using curved ramps it's a whole nother animal uh, and Revit doesn't really facilitate it so I'm going to try to show you uh, my preferred method of doing it and hopefully you'll be able to uh, use it in the future as well I'm going to go ahead and start a new project as always uh, just so that you guys see what I'm working with at the beginning I'm going to go ahead and create a uh, ramp using a floor it's just my preferred method of doing it. So that looks about right. We'll put a five foot offset on it. And then we'll cap it off at the ends. All right, that looks good. Hit your check mark, modify sub elements. I'm going to call it a 15 foot uh, incline. Hit escape a couple times. Now, because of the way that the cut plane is set up, uh, it gets cut off there. That's not a problem. I'm going to change my view range so that we can see the whole floor plan at all times. I'm going to call the top 20 feet. And since it ends at 15, we're going to set this cut at 16. Just to keep things simple. Alright, perfect. There you go. There's our ramp so far. Go back to your level one. Now when you add your walls to your ramp, you want to make sure the walls are actually seated on the ramp. Um, it's really important. Uh, otherwise it won't work, uh, to my experience at least. I'm just going to bring it to a thinner wall here so it's easier to view things. So when you use your pick line tool right here, you want to make sure that the wall is being placed on the inside of uh, this line. Line. Oh, see, that's not right. So, what you got to do is location line, you want to change it to uh, interior, exterior. It's going to let you select later on, anyways. For what I'm trying to show you, it isn't really uh, too important. Alright, there we go. There's our ramp with our walls, and now we get to the nitty gritty. Uh, go ahead and go to component, model in place, uh, hit W for walls, hit OK. Hit, or type in void 1. Make sure your uh, work plane is right. Right now it defaults to the bottom, so pick a plane. Uh, go here and select this corner of the wall. So now you know your work plane is set. Now go to sweat blend. And pick a path. You want to pick out this edge here um, that's also very important don't choose the inside path Just choose the outside path it'll work um, now hit this check mark here select profile one edit profile one and then go to viewer orient it so that it uh, you're looking at it straight on so it's going to be on the left in my case now what you're going to do is set up a rectangle. Oh, I don't know why I wanted to save now, but let me go back to my viewer. To my left side. Now I'm going to set up a rectangle. Uh, actually, set it up from out here. It'll be easier to grab later on. Hit the check mark. Now you're going to select profile 2, edit profile 2, and again, make sure you're in the right view. And then select that corner, sorry, select that corner and scroll all the way to the top. Make sure you have that corner selected as well. Select the green check mark. Select it again. Chain, or close this. 
And there you have your solid. You're going to select your solid. Change your solid over here to avoid. And then with the cut geometry tool, click that. Click your solid first, then your wall. Bada bing, bada boom. There it is. Now you're going to repeat the step for the second wall. Um, I'll bring this one to a slower speed for those of you who aren't able to catch it the first time. So finish model. All right, so actually I'm going to save this uh, V2. All right, so doing that again, go to architecture, component, model in place, go to walls by hitting W, hit OK, hit or type in void, oops, void 2, hit OK. Now, make sure your uh, work plane is set in the correct aspect. Again, it's not, so pick a plane, hit OK. You're going to want to select this plane. Make sure you have all four sides of that square uh, show up in blue and not just one line. Select that surface. Hit the green check mark. Oh no. Yes. Let's try that again actually. Set the work plane now. Set it early. Alright. So, component, model in place. Go to walls. Hit OK. Void 2. Sweat blend. Pick the path. It's going to be this edge right here. Hit the OK. Select profile. Edit profile. Go to the left. And then the viewer. And I am not currently in the right view. So let me get there. Alright, now I am get your rectangle tool start from one of the corners ring her down scroll in to make sure everything is nice and pretty hit the check mark and then go to select profile 2 edit profile and this one is lined up nice and pretty again and then do the same thing the rectangle Set it up like that. Hit the green check mark. Hit it again. Close this. Select what you just created. Change it to a void. Use a cut geometry tool up here to select that what you just created and then select the wall. And there it is, folks, your ramp with uh, the walls attached to it. Um, I use the floor as a way to create a ramp. Uh, however, that is not necessary. You can use a regular ramp. It'll work the same. Just make sure your walls are actually on the ramp because um, your ramp is what's going to establish that path later on uh, because, of, because of the way the walls are derived off of it. Um, if you have any questions, let me know in the area below. I'd be happy to answer it. Again, thanks very much um, for adding to each other and creating the 50 subs that I have have so far. I look forward to bringing you guys a lot more tutorials in the future, uh, both computer-based as well as um, you know hands-on-based. There's a couple of things that, I, that I've learned to do that I'd like to show you guys. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, let me know in the area below. Thank you, guys. Have a good one. Thanks for checking out another one of my videos here at FMP Toots. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and you found it very useful. Uh, the main mission here at FMP Toots is to sh simply share the knowledge of uh, Revit, SketchUp, iMovie, and other software out there that uh, people might just have simple questions with, or have you know a bit more complicated of a question. Uh, I really try to target as big of an audience as possible. Um, if you find that the tutorials are helpful to you and you think that they might, you know, you might have a colleague who's struggling, feel free to pass on the link. All you have to do is go to the top of the page 
uh, press Control C on your Windows or Command C on your Mac, and then paste that link in an email, uh, on a Facebook message, even through YouTube. It's pretty simple. Um, if you'd like to continue seeing my videos, um, go ahead and like or subscribe to the page. This way you can get reoccurring updates saying that I updated or I uploaded another video. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, hit me in the discussion area or email me at slkr2016 at gmail.com. Uh, have yourself a great day. Thank you.